Okay, you'll notice there's a little red light on here, that H2O red light. That means it's time to change the ice and water filter. At first, I thought it was going to be in the fridge. So I opened up the fridge and I couldn't find anywhere in there where it could be. And then I realized it's on the bottom. So you come down here, you open the freezer. This is where the refrigerator filter is located. So you have to open the freezer door to get to the ice and water filter. Now what we're going to swap it out with is this here. It's a uh, every drop ice and water refrigerator filter. This also works on Whirlpool, uh, Maytag, um, and a few others, even KitchenAid. So this will work on several different refrigerators. It's really easy to replace, but before I put it in, there's one quick thing I want to do. So I'm going to come up here to the ice maker and there's a little, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little, uh, icon on there that says straight up is off and so I'm going to move the bar straight up and that's going to turn the water off that's going to make sure that the ice maker doesn't come on okay now actually changing it is pretty easy all you have to do is open up this door here this little flap the old one will pop out so you pull that out and you take the new one take that cap off of it and then you face it this way and you put this new one back in. Push it in there good. And then you hear a little tsh, meaning it just popped right in and the new one is now ready to go. Now that we've changed the filter, what we have to do is we have to hold these two buttons for three seconds to reset so that the light goes off and it resets it. And there you go. Fixing the refrigerator filter is really that easy. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll see you in the next video.